Hello Taurus, so great to be back with you. This is Tara from Tara One Love Coach dot com. So great to be back with you. Okay, this will be a continuation. Uh, we will expand on part one of a twin flame union. They're carrying a deep love for you entitled for Taurus part one. Okay, if you haven't checked it out, I will leave the link in the description. And also I will leave it on uh, the video here. Okay, so towards the end of the video, uh, also I will be doing the charms. So stay tuned to the uh, end so you can get additional messages from the dice, the charms, and um, the letters, and also the tea leaf cards. I will be uh, bringing in the uh, confirmation, whatever confirmation or whatever uh, signs or messages that resonate with you intuitively. Remember, this is a timeless reading, and with timeless readings, it's not restricted by, oh, this is going to happen right here and now this month remember life is about a process and it's a time and a season for all things okay um so the moment you click on this video it was meant for you to click on this video because spirit has a message for you god has a message for you the universe has a message for you however it relates to you okay so we are going to dive a little bit deeper into the messages stemming from part one and this will be part two of Taurus okay so let's get the pulse um, around Taurus let's see what the energies are for you Taurus okay Taurus Taurus what does Taurus need to know if anyone is interested in the reading, remember the links are in the description. Um, you can contact me on Magnify. Uh, you can download that app. It's for Android and iPhone. Okay. And you get 10 minutes free added to your call. Remember to shoot me a message first. Um, also, I'm on Instant Go. It's for iPhone only at this time, and you can contact me there as well. Also, you can always go to my website at tarawanelovecoach.com and book a reading with me or a video reading. Um, so let's start with the messages. We have the garden and the gate. There's so much, there's many things out there in a garden. It, the garden is full of beautiful blossoming uh, flowers, okay? Things that are budding, uh, symbolically meaning in your life. But there seems to be a barrier there that feels like it's kind of holding you back from taking that chance, okay? So let's go a little bit further. Attachment. You feel attached to something, um, something that you're attached to. Let me just look closer here. And there's a mask that she's holding, something that you're attached to, something that you're, um, something that you're holding inside. So we have attachments in our life, things that are hard to let go. But maybe if we take the risk of letting go and not feeling bound to it, it will actually allow us to shed another skin or open up to be ourselves. It will give us a sense of liberty. Sometimes we wear that mask to kind of hide what we really feel inside. Let's move a little bit further. You have the adjacent possibilities. So there's many opportunities here, some with doors open, doors in opening, some with door closed, but you have options, okay? Maybe Spirit is saying it's time now 
to choose your options wisely. All tied up. It kind of resonates with attachment because there's a restricting, there's a restriction you feel. It's sort of like the ace, uh, the eight of pentacles, um, not feeling like you're able to expand or spread your wings. But what spirit is saying that there are possibilities there for you. It's, it's a bit of barriers here from here. Look, this person has a chain around her wrist. This person has a gate in front of her. And this person feels all tied up. Bottom line, the options are here for you to take the risk, take the chance. And for you to be your best self and move in faith and move in your power. Okay? In your divine power. Taurus, you got this. You got it going on, Taurus. Okay? It is your season to move forward and achieve your dreams and goals. Let's see what else Spirit has to say. Okay? cards upside down all right we come out with the ace of cups in reverse and this when it comes in reverse and I don't like doing reversals but if it comes out I got to read this reversal it's about a missed opportunity also I feel like this is like stagnant emotions like you're holding you're you're holding your emotions inside some of you may feel numb um that expression i feel numb i don't know what to feel um and that's what i feel from this card but i also see it as some type of missed opportunity possibly but let's look in your past see what's going on we have a prince of pentacles coming in doesn't have to be a prince of pentacles but Taurus, you are an earth sign. So this could be you or it could be someone else who is a Virgo or a Capricorn. Uh, this person is in your past. Hmm. Maybe this is the missed opportunity or maybe you feel something or somehow about this individual. Let's move and see what's over you. Let's see what's over you. We have tradition. Did someone want to settle down? Did someone want to get married or have a traditional marriage? Was this a dream? Maybe there are some of you out there that had an opportunity that come to them that came to them and you thought you were going to get married. This is where I see this this opportunity. You thought you found love you thought you found abundance and something else actually happened so maybe this is why there's a sense of restriction here of not letting go of something in order to move on to the future because i i really feel the future has great abundance for you and sometimes we may not be able to move from this place because of the lack of closure that we may have or a spirit is speaking with me. It could be another reason here. Um, yeah, it could be a reason. The reason I'm getting is, is, is there, I feel it may have been a missed opportunity. Um, I feel for some of you as well, this is another scenario that there was someone that was in your life that you felt dear about you just fell in love with and there was some type of disappointment that kind of shifted that energy okay let's see what's beneath you okay now this shed some light on a situation we have the nine of cups here immediately when i seen the cups I thought it was the Ten of Cups, which represent 
to me, um, happy family in marriage. But I feel that it's the same if this is a heart's desire. Spirit is saying your wish come true with the nine of cups. If you're wondering if you are going to settle down in spite of you feeling maybe this was a missed opportunity or something didn't go the way you wanted it to, what Spirit is saying now is that don't give up on your dream. Don't give up. However, there needs to be a sense of liberation and freedom here. I feel some of you are going to go out of your comfort zone as well from what I'm seeing. Because Spirit is also saying that there's many opportunities here that's available for you. You have strength, uh, Taurus. You have the strength to move on. To move on. That twin flame union you desire. That deep love that this individual has for you. I feel for some of you, there is someone that loves you very, very deeply. Very deeply. Because in, in part one, I believe the Queen of Cups came out and the King of Cups came out. So there was a water sign coming out. Now, yeah, it was a water sign coming out in part one in, of Taurus. Okay. Now, Taurus, you're coming out. I feel like this is your energy, but for some of you may also be connected to an earth sign but there was a water sign in part one and I'm wondering did this go in another direction because I feel someone desired something that's uh, a union a love union with this particular person and it may not necessarily be marriage. For some, I do believe it is. The dream of settling down, having a family, and being married. I do for, believe in some there is. But for some who are not, you know, not really trying to be married, but yet they want that companionship, I see that here as well. Because they want a commitment. They want to be exclusive with this individual. But the wish card, the nine of cups is here so either way not to give up on your dream not to give up and get discouraged because of what's in front of you and what you see but also it's about believing detaching yourself from the old and maybe this is what the universe is trying to communicate with you and tell you that it's time to take a risk and not be afraid of detaching yourself, not allowing fear to cause you to be tied up and restricted. Because if you take a risk and be able, if you're able to let go and detach yourself, and sometimes we have to detach ourselves to live in the spirit of us, to see what the universe has for us, because we will find that we will grow and we will we will be like the butterfly okay we will be able to grow and transform ourselves why do we need to grow why do we need to become that butterfly and go through the process of the butterfly is because if we are able to grow then we will be able to reach higher than we were before in, in, in the heavens, we will be able to spiritually be connected also to what spirit has to say to us as well. But not only that we are growing, but we are also able to achieve and able to see beyond what was in front of us. And with that, we are gaining wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? And this is what I see here. That spirit has so much to communicate to you and to tell you that if something didn't work out the way you want it to, it's not for you to beat up on yourself, it's not for you to lose hope, but to be able to brush the dust off and keep it moving 
because there is more for you to see. It just doesn't stop there. There is some stagnation here. We have the three of staffs, action, but it's in reverse. So this tells me something stopped, something came to a halt. This is what you wanted. But sometimes things stop so that we can listen to what the universe has for us. You have the Ace of Staffs. So what this tells me, there could be a moment where you feel that there was some type of missed opportunity in your life and love, in relationship in some way, or in general. And you felt like, wow, you got the three staffs here in the ground. You achieved, this is your achievement, this is the work that you put in. But all of a sudden, you felt this loss. All that work I put in, all that time I spent with that person, I put in I put three years. And what happened? But what Spirit is saying, Ace of Staffs, you will get that four of wands. The four of wands represents engagements, marriages, uh, unity, family, just happiness, weddings. That's what the four of wands represent. But what this is saying, something may have been put on hold. Something, there was a lesson that needed to be learned. There was a path that was taken that someone needed to go and it might have caused a separation it might have caused some type of path split or it might have caused some type of choice that a person had to go in another direction maybe that person wasn't for you maybe the universe has something greater this is what that ace of staff says that there is a blessing there is a ram in the bush, honey. A ram in the bush. Okay? So, don't give up to... There's the, there's the Queen of Cups, and she came out in part one of Pisces reading. I'm sorry. Of Taurus reading, she came up. Whether male or female, she or he, they came up. The Queen of Cups, someone is still thinking about this love that they have but it tells me that universe pump the brakes for a bit of time but there's good things on the horizon contemplation I believe this is the hermit contemplation yeah the, and, and that's the hermit and you know with the hermit you got to kind of take a pause to pretty much go inside to see what what spirit is saying what the universe is saying that's what i'm seeing here let me get the doreen virtue here so what what this reading tells me that there's lessons that we need to learn that you may need to detach yourself so that you're able to see beyond that thing that's in front of you to jump over the gate because there's many options for you and for you to break free of the norm. Okay? Because even though a missed opportunity or you may feel that something changed in this situation, there's still abundance that is here for you and that the universe has for you. You just went on a break. You went on a pause. But strength, you're still moving in the energy of strength here. And most of all that you cannot forget is that your wish comes true. Okay? Taurus, your wish comes true. Now, Taurus, part one of Taurus. And I hope I did say part one of Taurus and didn't say part one of Pisces. If I did, that was a mistake. Um, this is part one of Taurus. Part one of Taurus. Because I just finished Pisces, okay? So part one of Taurus, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I will leave the link in the description. I got to check. Check sometimes I'll say the wrong thing. Y'all know how I am. 
codependency and it's speaking about that detachment thing is time if there was some type of codependency time to detach yourself whether it's you or whether it's the other person true love true love on the horizon for you Taurus okay true love is on the way true love touch and agree hit that like button because and let me know that you agree and I'm agreeing with you where there's two or more there shall it be established so I'm agreeing with you okay so touch that like button you agree okay let's move a little bit further I don't read reversals here calling your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so whoever is praying and whoever is practicing visualization it is a confirmation it's working deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so we have the mask here something about and I explained to you earlier rewind the tape back about how we need to be how we need to detach ourselves how we need to detach ourselves and to be able to move forward to be liberated taking off the mask very soon so that is the message that's coming through for you that is the message and I touch and agree on this let's do the charms let's let's do the charms let's see what the charms have to say that was a very powerful message I must say click that like button button if it if you feel that vibe if it resonates with you let me know put a comment in the comment section if it does okay I'm going to take a, a few dice and toss here and see what the messages come up bit of charm. Kind of the owl fell out, the E fell out. Just sprinkle a little here. Oops. Okay. Wow, that that's that that represent. I'm assuming death, like the death card. So we have letter E, we have letter S, E and S. We have some more letters here. We have E S. We have K. We have another E. We have two E's. Wow, K E S. K M U Kim do did we spell no we don't have a I E K U N and we have a Z we have a Z here See, that's an M. We have a U. So these letters, what spirit is saying with these letters? K, Z, E, Z, E, S, K. U M. Okay, so these are the letters coming out. 
Let me know are these letters resonating with you in any way. We have the flying horse. It's, it's called something else. Um, one of the viewers, one of the, someone told me what this is, but it also means travel in speed. This flying horse, travel in speed, speed, blessings coming through, travel in speed, things coming through fast. Let me see what this is. Oh, this is a heart with a sword through it. Could that be a part of the three of swords? This is a one sword. This feels like a broken heart here, actually. But it says love, so maybe not. Let me know. It could be both. Love, but there may have been dealings of a broken heart. We have the death card, which means transformation and change. Butterfly also means transformation here. And we have wisdom. The owl in some way can also mean uh, talks, communication, or gossip. But also, to me, owl also means wisdom. The butterfly, wisdom and insight. Uh, it, it's also connected to the high priestess as well. And also you have the butterfly, which is change and transformation. I was talking about the butterfly earlier, right? Yeah, so yeah, that's that's coming out again with that butterfly. All right. All right, so we have the three of swords here. And I just said about that broken heart. We have the queen. Did she, what, what is this? She's the empress. This is the empress. Queen, and we have four of swords. We have the high priestess. We have the knight of swords. So that could be an air sign coming in. And we have a magician. So things are going to start manifesting. There's things still. The empress is here. So there. this is a time. So there's going to be a process with the empress. But abundance is on its way. So that's a confirmation for abundance. And we have, you're moving past this broken heart. And I feel like you're going to go through a place of healing with the four of swords, or R and R, just kind of regrouping, okay? And also there's an air sign coming through here. So let me get the tea leaf cards here and see what other messages are coming out. Okay, so let me pick two of the red. One of the green and one of the purple. All righty. So let's see what the messages are with the cards. Lily, spiritual love. Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Wow, so financial gain is coming. Did we talk about that? The financial gain? Uh, that could be connected with that wish card that came out success so it's speaking about success let me know if these are resonating with you these little cards and also that month your month is October so October with the leaves falling the harvest season something is new is happening 
happening for you in October. It can represent an engagement, a birthday, something this month may mean to you or a prediction that's coming in October. Well, this concludes the reading. If this reading resonated with you guys, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know and also leave your comments and share the video. Until next time, God bless you.